Hello! In this video I want to show you an amazing trick using the AI Clip Geo shader um, which I discovered recently and it's, it's really amazing and really useful. So you see in this case I've got this street here and this uh, concrete element that's meant to warn the driver if he's going uh, yeah, to the side too far and you can see that it's intersecting really weirdly here. But if I raise this up you can see it's it sticks out and we don't want that. So uh, uh, how do we solve this issue? Well, it's it's fairly simple. Uh, I just created this other cube, which is a bit larger, but um, has the same dimensions, it's just a bit higher, basically. And I'm gonna give this um, object, uh, under Arnold shaders, an AI Clip Geo material. AI Clip Geo. Okay, so now that we've added this material, uh, it, we can see the options here, and there's not much here, we don't need anything except for this trace set. The trace set um, needs, uh, needs uh, a name that you can specify. You can type in anything you want. In my case, I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to choose street conk for street concrete. And that's my trace set here. So what's it called? And now on the object that we want to clip away, we also need to set this. Um, trace set and we go to the shape node and under Arnold we have trace sets here. I've put in something else here before because I used this before but let's put in conk uh, street conk for street concrete and now if we um, render again we can see that this big clip geo cube cuts away the street so the uh, concrete element fits in and we can see what happens uh, if we hide this element here. You can see that the street basically gets um, smushed around this uh, larger cube and creates this little hole here. And this is really, really useful in cases like this where you need an object intersecting with another object but in, an, in, a, in a realistic way. And, uh, I wish you a great day and bye bye.